Greetings, this is Lynn Mann, and welcome to Screencast-O-Matic, the Pro version, part four of four, Scripts and Captions. Scripts and Captions are two incredibly useful tools that Screencast-O-Matic provides us. Scripts, what you'll do is record the text and the audio before you record the video. How is this helpful? Well, in the event that you mess up on recording the video, you can re-record the video without having to do the text and the audio. Likewise, since the text and audio is separate from the video, you can change that up as much as you want in these each segment all by itself. Uh, and then secondly, captioning is the ability to record your video along with the audio, and then you type up what was said on the video, you do some special formatting to it, and then Screencast-O-Matic will display it on the viewing page. Uh, just like closed captioning, well this is open captioning, so it will always display, but it is there for the hearing impaired or just folks that like to read along with what you are saying. Okay, so I've switched over to record my other laptop computer with the webcam so you can see the editing area. So I'm just opened up the where I would choose to record another recording and instead of record I'm going to go to scripts and currently there are no scripts on my computer so I'm going to click on new. I'm going to give it a name and I'll just say test one just for shortness and now I start building my scripts. Scripts are usually fairly short. They don't have to be extremely long. Uh, so I'm just going to say, and it, it doesn't have to be just one sentence. It could be a couple of sentences in this section of my video. So I'm going to say this is a script. And let's record. Something like that, whatever you want to say. After I get my script in line for a section of video, I'm going to then record the audio. It will first ask me which microphone do I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and just capture it from the computer. And then it will ask me to record silence. The silence will be put in place to the video where there is no dialogue where there's no script and no audio that's recorded. So you do want to be quiet when you start your recording and I am going to do that for just a few seconds. And you can check to make sure that the silence did record. There's a little bit of sound but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and keep it as is. And now I'm going to start recording what I've typed up. So this is a script and let's record. So I'm going to just record it by pushing on this red button. This is a script and let's record. If I'm happy with it, I can keep it or I can redo the audio or it looks like I have a second period in here. I can change up the text. There we go. Now I can say done. That was my first section. I can add another section. Here is my monitor screen, let's say. I can say anything that I want, whatever I want to record. Uh, I don't have to do, again, I can change it on the fly. I can add some more text. I know this is a script. So I could add all the text first and then go back and record. So I'm going to go ahead and record these two sections very quickly. Here is my monitor screen. I can jump to the next section. I know this is a script. Okay, so I have a few sections recorded. Now I say done. You would continue this throughout your whole entire script. Once I'm done with my script, you'll see I have a nice script. And I now click on record. There's a few things that I can 
change here if I wanted my pause key, my countdown, things like that. That's normal recording mode. But I'm just going to go ahead and click record. It's going to ask me what size screen I want. I'm just going to close it down just a little bit. On Depending on where I have my window, my script will either be on the left or the right. It lets me know which script number I'm on. I have one to three scripts. This green arrow will toggle to my next script, next script, next script. Why do I say that? Because I'm going to just lower this back window. I'm just going to record something back here. And you won't be able to hear it too well, but it is going to say what I've recorded in audio as I'm recording the video. So now I only have to worry about the capture of the video. I don't have to worry about the audio. Okay, so I checked through. Sorry if I was quiet. I was just letting it do its thing so it wouldn't grab my voice as I'm recording the actual playback. So I recorded what I'm doing on the screen separately. Why would I want to do that? Well, let's say I'm doing a training video and I really just want to say a few lines and then concentrate on what I'm doing on my computer, then I would use a script. Likewise, if there was one area of my script that I didn't like, I could change the audio without having to redo the video. Really nice to have those two separate. Once I'm done, I click the Done button. And the publishing of the video is just exactly the same as it was before, except if I go to editing, you'll notice that there's this now script area. Here's the first area of the script. I can edit it if need be, and then there's silence. Here's the second. I can edit it if need be. Third, edit it if need be. So it's really nice to have those separate at times to change one portion of it. Once I'm done with editing, I'm just going to publish the video. I'm going to save the video. I'm just going to call it something. Call it test two. Since it's only 34 seconds long, it shouldn't take long at all to publish. In fact, I'm already in the 90s and it's done. I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like in my player. Okay, and it looks like it's playing. You can see me move around. The screen is changing. Uh, the audio is changing as well, and the script is working fine. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now let's talk about captioning. Captioning are those nice words down at the bottom of your video or your recorded video that folks can read along as you talk. So first and foremost, you want to record your video. Say exactly what you want to say. And then the next step is building your special caption text. So I built a small video. It is 36 seconds long. And I just kind of talk about Google, and it's a search engine, and I put in the word cat, and brought back cat, and went to Wikipedia. So that's all this video is. So the first thing I need to do when I'm building my captioning is to open up my text editor. And for this, I'm just going to use my plain old notepad. So it's just a text editor, nothing fancy. So I want this open alongside my video. I just want to close that down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my video. And 
And as the video plays, I'm going to go ahead and type in what I have said on the video. Now, it would be really boring for you to watch me type, so I'm gonna go ahead and type this up pretty quickly and come right back to you. Okay, so now that I have my text file completely typed up from what was in my video, what I'll wanna do is, number one, double check to make sure that I have everything spelled correctly and that I have the wording correct in the video, so you may need to listen to it a couple times. And now here's the final step in building your uh, caption file. You need to listen to the video and hear if there's any stop in your voice to uh, be able to add some timings to the video. For example, it's not that I read it or that I said it in the video as Google is a search engine and allows the user to type a few choice words and then brings a blah, 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 with no stopping. There are pauses in there that that's when you want to let Screencast-O-Matic pace itself on how it displays on the screen. So how I do that is right before it starts the text, I'm going to put in the time range. So I know it starts at zero. Okay. So, that first sentence, Google is a search engine that allows the user to type in a few choice words, then Google brings back those results. That went from zero, the start of the video, to 10 seconds, 10.5. So, I'm going to put in zero, comma, 10.5. That lets Screencast-O-Matic know what time range that it goes through. Okay. And now, maybe for the next sentence, it makes logical, it's very logical to kind of bring it up either in sentences or phrases, maybe a whole paragraph plays if it's long enough. I'm going to listen to it again. Okay, so I know that ended at 22.5. The, for example, if I type in cats, Google will bring back uh, the lots of items dealing with cats. But I don't know when it started, so I'm going to listen to it again from, let's say, 10.5, because I do know that's when my last section ended. So I think it kind of started at 11, 11 seconds. And then I'm going to jump up to 22.5, around there. And we'll say that it started at 24 seconds. So 24 comma and to the end or to 29, uh, let's say it's 30 seconds. And that's our script file. We'll want to save this. And we want to make sure that we put it in a place. I'm just going to stick it on my desktop for now. I'll say cap one. And say save. Okay, so I have my text file that mimics what I've said in the video, but what do I do with it? In the editing, I go to Edit Recording, and I want to use that caption. So, I actually want to go to Video File. Right now it says Add Caption File. I'm going to say Add Captions. I'm going to choose a file since I already created my file. I'm going to find it. I threw it on my desktop, so here's cap one. I say open, and now you can see it immediately brought in my captions. Once I kind of had it all typed up ahead of time, I can see it in action here before I publish it. I'm going to start at the beginning, and I can now see 
that very easily I created captions along with my video. Didn't take me up too long to type it up. Of course, if this was a full length video, it would take me a little bit of time to get the text typed up and get the timings down. But you saw it was fairly simple to do that. Just pause the video, go back a little bit, get that timing, uh, put it in the file, save the file. When I publish the video, add the captions. And then all I have to do is save the video like I normally would. So I'm going to call this test two and overwrite what I already had. Again, really, really super quick to develop my video. Once I have the video completed, I'm going to test it out in the real sense. And it looks really, really good. Of course, my player shows that it disappears after a while. But that's all it takes to create captions, your own captions. If you enjoyed this video, here are a few others in the Screencast-O-Matic series. You can find these on the CA Community College's YouTube channel. Until then, this is Lynn Mann. Be seeing you.